Positioning options for symbols in interior cut cabinet boxes have been expanded considerably. Additionally, millings that are contained within the symbols will now be applied to the parts they are placed on. This makes for some interesting use cases. One example could be clothes rail supports which are to be attached to the cabinet interior. In order to achieve this, simply create a symbol containing the rail support together with the desired drillings. Make sure convert to group has been set in symbol options or millings won't have any effect on parts they get inserted into. Also, 3D details should be on. Box objects are only visible with 3D details enabled for the cabinet. On the objects page in the cabinet dialog, you can now place any symbols you like. To do so, I enable contents and select my rail support. You've probably noticed that the rail support has not been positioned correctly yet. I can change this by switching to top and enabling front left orientation. The next thing you notice is that the symbol is placed in the box with an offset. That's because currently the symbol object bounds are used for placement. If I switch this to symbol insertion point, the well support is placed correctly. Now all I need to do is mirror the symbol to the right. This will keep the two rail supports in the centre of the cabinet even when its depth changes. However, currently the depth is measured from the actual back edge of the cabinet, which is not ideal if the back panel changes position. If you want to use the back panel inside edge as a reference, just enable Adjust to Back. You can even combine this with additional offsets. Adjust to Back is useful also with wall cabinet hangers. The simplest option is to create sets that have all the placement and offset parameters enabled. This allows you to very easily place grooves for LED lights, drillings for front dampness or push to open fittings or even logo pockets indoors. The possibilities are probably endless.